Hello folks, I'm Ed Blackburn for San Angelo Rodeo Live. This is Ed Blackburn for San Angelo Rodeo Live. Welcome back. Today we've got a great character to be talking to. This fellow's name is Keith Isley and he's been doing this way too long. That's way what I thought it would do that. Keith, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, it's my fourth year here being at San Angelo. My last year being here. Uh, not that I want to leave, but I feel like it's, you know, you kind of you stay somewhere for so long that it's time to move on. Let someone else come in and, uh, and, and entertain these people. It, it's such a phenomenal crowd here. Great rodeo. Not only is the rodeo great, but the crowd is so responsive. I mean, they're lively, they make a lot of noise, they come here to have a good time. They're not forced to be here by gunpoint, so they're they they uh, they're just a great crowd to work with. You've not run out of jokes, have you? Uh, no, I've actually started telling some of them backwards, and uh, that makes it even funnier <laughs> yet. But uh, no, I, you know, I've kind of, I've got a lot of acts. That's one thing I'm known for, a lot of acts. Some clowns, uh, entertainers, they may have one one good act. I mean, I may only have one good act, but I've got quite a few <laughs> other ones to choose well, from. You've got the Keith Ashley act. Well, but. we've got quite a few. And, and uh, next, this week, I've done my trick roping and uh, dance deal with some kids. Today, I'm gonna do a little whip act. Next week, I'm gonna work my little miniature horse, my big horse. Uh, and I'm also going to do an act next week. I'm hoping, if I can get it put together, that I have never done here in Angelo. So uh, it'll be something new for everybody. Keith, how'd you get started in all this? I used to be a Chippendale dancer uh, a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, it just, I don't know, it, it just didn't work out for me that one night. So anyway, no, I, I was raised uh, on a tobacco farm in North Carolina. Uh, I have two other brothers, one older, one younger. My older brother got stationed in the military. A gentleman got him involved in rodeo. Then they got me involved, my younger brother, and I was going to junior rodeos back home in North Carolina, which there's a lot of rodeos back that way. Uh, but anyway, junior rodeos up to local rodeos, and one thing led to another. And next thing you know, uh, uh, I was at the national finals and Angelo and big rodeos and it's uh, I've been at it for 40 some years now. Do you use the same face paint all through these years? Don't you a hate asking another man does he wear the same makeup all the time? Yes, <laughs> yes it, it's about the same face all the time and it don't take no time to put it on now. Used to when I first started it would take a while but now I can just about do it blindfolded. And it may look like I've done it blindfolded, I don't know. I uh, looked you up on the internet and look at all these awards you've received. You know I mean, what? They, they, just, yeah, they, just, they, just, they just go on and on and on. I have been the most blessed person that has ever been a part of rodeo to be awarded, you know, these awards. And it's, it's not like I worked, you know, to get these awards. I worked hard at doing what I do. I, I put a lot of time into it. Uh, I work with my animals every single day. And the worst thing about rodeo for me uh, is the traveling is, is bad. Being gone from home is bad. But undoubtedly the worst thing that could ever happen in rodeo to me is losing an animal. Because you, you know, you, I work with them, I spend more time with my animals than I do anybody or anything. And when you lose one, yeah, that's it's pretty devastating. I know. And they don't last forever. It hits you here, it doesn't oh, it? Oh my word, worst kind of way. Yes, it does. It sure does. And this year is my first time in 13 years that I left my dog at home. I've got an act with him, and it feels like I'm just missing a family member now. So, but he's getting older, and he's he's earned his retirement, so he's at home just doing nothing. Well, you've got uh, you've got desirable animals, and then you have some undesirable animals. So, speaking of undesirable animals, do you have any comment on government that you'd like to make? There's, there's, you know what? I, I do some Obama stuff. Any president, any president, I, I, I've always picked on them all the time. But here, one year, there was a gentleman that misquoted me really bad and uh, and it spread like wildfire yeah, I mean it spread when I left here and went home I got halfway home and my wife calls me and she says what did you say that got everybody so upset it done got all over the computer and everything and uh, there was a newspaper from Dallas there was a newspaper from Austin 
that called my house in North Carolina and wanted to comment on this. And like I said, it just went, it, it just went crazy. What did you say? I said in the, in the, in, in the oh, and anyway, I called the committee here in, in Angelo and I told them what was going on. And uh, so they went back and reviewed video and all this. And then I called them back a couple of days later. And uh, the one gentleman here, he says, I, I got the video and audio and everything. He said, here, I'll play it for you. I said, you don't have to play it for me. <laughs> Because I know exactly what I said. I know how the act goes. But anyway, I come out dressed as a Mexican and uh, pretending to be a trick roper. The announcer says, boy, Paul Hummel is here. He says, you're out here trying to be somebody you're not. And I said, quote, if the president can do it, I can do it. <laughs> so that's just the way it went. And, and there it went, went yeah, viral, didn't it? Oh, my word. But that was not the way that the gentleman quoted me of saying it. But Leave uh, it up to the media. Oh, my gosh. Yes, let it go, let it go. But we're still doing the act, and we're still getting laughs, and uh, still making a living at it. Chief. Thank you so very much for your thank time. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Good luck in your future. Well, thank you. Hope to be back in Angelo before too many years. Well, please come back. I'll do it, thanks. Thank you. We're thankful for the support of Jim Bass Ford and Bud Light.